it's starting again. I see that lady, I see it. I'm, I'm, just let, let me talk for a second, okay? Alright, I see it, I see it, let me talk, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I haven't been able to record. Um, so I've been on eBay and, and I have eight items still that have yet to arrive to my house. So I said, you know what, let me go check. Um, two of the items, everything actually, besides, I ordered a roll of eBay tape three days ago and the seller gave it to me. I don't have an eBay store. I'm going to work on that next because I really want to get into the flipping aspect of everything. Um, we're going to hit up some yard sales tomorrow, me and Jesse, and then we're going to go to the park, grab some lunch and have park down by the water, uh, play on the playground and eat lunch down by the water. I figured it'd be a good daddy daughter day type thing get her out because today she uh, fell asleep and she woke up with a fever so I don't know what that was about but she's feeling better it's almost 10 o'clock at night and she's uh she's still going but um the subject of this short video it's probably gonna be a five minute video I apologize um I'll edit it I went on eBay to check some orders and there's like six out of the eight things said they ship by the 20th Okay, today's, tomorrow's 20, uh, the 31st. Today, this video, actually, I'm going to be posting it, is now the 31st. Um, three to five days and then shipped. A couple of items said they should have been here by th Wednesday, Thursday. One said Monday, one said Tuesday. Um, I don't think that's right. The sellers go put stuff up. I opened a request for one of them because it said it should have been here by Wednesday. So I didn't check tracking. I didn't even look at tracking because I don't even care. If it says it should have been here by Wednesday, then the tracking shows that it should have been here by Wednesday. Um, a Rainbow Rare Urshifu V Max. I paid $26 for this card. Okay? It's a $20 card. No, we're not going to lie. Um, it's a $20 card. That's the value of it. I paid $20 plus shipping plus fees came to 25 and change almost $26 I sent the request saying that this is exactly what I wrote you can quote me um, we'll wait a few more days for item to be received and that's all I put eBay opens requests if things aren't there by a certain date you can open a request they will open a request um, it's just what happens so I go to check and it said your request has been refunded the person refunded me. They didn't message me. They didn't let me wait a couple more days. It said it should have been here by Thursday. It wasn't here by tomorrow, Saturday. I said, you know what? I'll wait till Saturday. If it's not here, then I'll, you know, ask for a refund. They just refunded me. I go to look at their feedback. They have zero feedback. That's what it says. But they have two positive, two negative, and I left the neutral. I don't like leaving negative feedback. It's um, it's disrespectful, honestly, to me. It's disrespectful to leave negative feedback. The only way I would leave negative feedback, um, actually, I left. I might have left negative feedback, which is kind of odd. Like I've never had to leave negative feedback, and now I feel like I'm leaving negative and neutral feedbacks like every other day. Um, I left negative feedback to the guy that refunded me. Didn't message me or anything this whole time. I've been waiting for two weeks for this card, this other card, and come to find out the Grim Snarl. He refunded me and I didn't even realize it like I didn't I didn't check I seen refund but I was waiting for a refund for another thing another guy gave me a refund I left him positive feedback he sent me the cards they got here on time it was just the wrong card in the picture um, it said 32 and 80 whatever whatever the numbers were 31 and 81 and he sent me 30 and 81 so I didn't need that card I sent it back um, it's just people I don't understand what makes you think that you can sell something and then not send it to somebody? Like, that's like going up to somebody in the street and saying, hey, you wanna buy wanna buy these sunglasses? Yeah, sure, how much? 10 bucks, person gives you 10 bucks, you walk away. And the person says, hey, can I have my glasses? And they'll say, I'll be back in 10 minutes. They're not coming back, come on. And then you gotta get somebody else involved a third party to go hunt this person down and get your money back like that's not cool that's how I picture everything in my mind um I'm not gonna lie I did some stupid stuff when I was younger and I sold drugs okay I'm not perfect but I've changed my ways I don't do scumbag shit anymore excuse my mouth I apologize if there's kids listening um 
They don't do that scumbag stuff anymore. And I remember being 19 years old, 20 years old, thinking it's cool with my friends, smoking weed, selling weed, marijuana, which is legal now. So uh, back then it was like a secret. You couldn't tell anybody, like, yo, so bud, you want some? Like, but it was, it was really dirtbag-ish. I remember doing it, though, a person that I thought I was friends with. Like, they went to go buy some weed, they gave me the money, and I told them I had to go get it. And then I never called the guy back. Over 20 bucks. Like, come on, it's 20 bucks, really? Like, I didn't have 20 bucks. I had to take it from somebody else instead of saying, yo, listen, give me the 20 bucks. Just give me a little time. I'll go get it for you. And go get the shit for him. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I, I see everything in my mind now when I'm older. Like, don't ever give somebody money unless you're getting something. And eBay is one of those things that it's such, it's such a great platform now compared to what it used to be. Because back in the day in 1999, 2000, um, when iPhones came out, oh my god, I was making money on eBay. I was making like $300 every week on eBay. I was working at McDonald's doing it as a side hustle. Like, I would go on eBay and I would put iPhones up and I didn't even have iPhones. Anyway, long story short, I don't want to get into it anymore. That was part of the story that I wanted to talk to you guys about from when I was younger. About just drugs and life in general like selling drugs buying drugs using drugs just stay away from it I'm gonna put this in the video for once I always clip it out because I don't feel I need to talk about that because it's a Pokemon channel but it's really not it's buying and reselling and buying and reselling drugs is a, is a thing people make a living off of buying and selling retail retailing drugs um, it's not cool it's a risk you're gonna get locked up you're gonna get in trouble you're gonna get arrested like just don't even just stay away from it it's depressing. It will totally fuck up your mind state. Daddy. If I, if I was still doing drugs, I wouldn't have this little girl in my life. And I appreciate seeing her. Every morning waking up and seeing her face lets me know that I made the right decision to get rid of those evil demons in my past and move forward to a brighter future. And I just want to do that for you guys. Like, buying and selling doesn't have to be difficult. Just make it as easy as possible. If you don't have something, don't Daddy, sell it. Morning, J-Squad. Before I get up and start getting dressed and getting all ready, I just wanted to wish you a happy Saturday. Hopefully everybody's having a great, wonderful time. Me and Jesse, we're going to go to some yard sales, and we're going to record what we find at the yard sales, and we're going to go to the park afterwards so she can play on the playground since she uh, wasn't feeling great yesterday. And in the middle of the night, I had to give her some Tylenol because she was getting heated up again. She had a fever. Anyway, this morning, I woke up to tons of sales on eBay um, I listed all those cards the other day on eBay and I made a crucial mistake and I just want to tell you guys this because I listed a Rillaboom V card for sale a shiny Rillaboom V number 105 I believe it is um, well I was just getting the order ready for the guy I wrote his name on the envelope and I got the I got everything ready I got the card in a sleeve and I was getting ready to put a stamp on it and I realized wait a minute this title of this says Rillaboom V Max now I have the Rillaboom V Max in my personal collection but I only have one so I screwed up so I did just message the person um, if they do want the Rillaboom I, I messaged them and told them if they do want the Rillaboom V Max, I have that card in my collection. You can have that card. It was my error. I listed it as a V Max. I sold it as a V Max. The picture, though, was for the V card. So now I'm just waiting for a reply from this person. Hopefully they wanted the V card and that'll be just plain and simple. Done. Um, if it's the V Max card, now I'm going to be another card short out of my shiny binder, which I wanted to give you guys a, a look at. Um, the only cards that I need are the Grim Snow V and the Charizard. Now, I put the cards behind here so I knew where they were. I don't have, I just, I went to go pull it out and I'm like, damn, I only have one of those. Um, let's start from the beginning. So, I have every card in this set. Hollow, Reverse Hollow, every single card in Shining Fates from the main set. Now when I say main set, the main set stops right here at Skyla. This is the whole set, um, which I just sold a Skyla card also that I'm waiting. 
Then you go into these are basically extra cards. So you got the Al Creamy Rainbow Rare was the only only Rainbow Rare I believe in this whole set. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Al Creamy was the only Rainbow Rare in Shining Fates. So I'm missing um, that card there. I don't I forgot what that was. I ordered a bunch on eBay and it came out so good. Like you can see these ones with the silver backgrounds. Most of them came from eBay um, or the green background. A lot of them you could tell because I just put them in there like that. Um, Mr. Rhyme. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm missing a ton when it comes to this area. But then when you get back here, I'm I'm almost done. So it's just the middle ones. Jesse's home with me again today. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. You want to get changed? Want to go take a bath and get changed? Where do you want to go today? Um, to the store. The store? Yeah. And playground. oh, the playground. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go playground. to the playground. Playground set. Playground set? Yeah. All right. I feel so much cooler today. I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love this kid. All right. Ooh, you got knots in your hair because you need a bath. <laughs> Dad needs to jump in the shower too. So we're gonna get up. We're gonna get ready. Um. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the binder and please just tips and tricks. I've been trying to give you guys a tip and trick every time I make a video now. Um, I didn't list any of the build and battle. Oh yeah, I did. I listed the build and battle boxes on eBay so you guys can go check those out. Those are listed right now. So if anybody wants a build and battle box, um, you'll get a, I, every order. I write a custom note um, for anybody that orders anything. Send me a message and just say, I watch your YouTube. Just, that's all you got to say. If Joey's Poke Shop won, just say I watch your YouTube and I'll include a special gift for every one of my viewers that buys something off my eBay page. A free item. It could be a free pack. It could be a free card. It could be an extra card. Um, a lady, I believe it was a lady, just ordered a Ditto VMAX, the shiny Ditto VMAX. And I included the other Ditto, not the shiny Ditto, but I had an extra Ditto from Shining Faith, so I included that as a free gift. Yeah, it's like a $2 card, but it's not, it's $2. $2 to make somebody's life when they open it up and say, cool, I got an extra card. Um, I'm all about that. So thank you guys for watching. Click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Okay, I just wanted to state one more other thing. I have a ton of these lunch boxes. Um, sword and Shields, basically. If anybody would like a Sword and Shield lunch box, I think I have four of them. I have elite trainer boxes everywhere. Now, elite trainer boxes, the purpose, I believe, um, don't quote me on this, but I believe the reason they made elite trainer boxes was so that if you bought a set like, say, Vivid Voltage, you had the elite trainer box to put all your Vivid Voltage cards in. So that is the purpose for those. You can repurpose those. I use them for storing dice and stuff like that. Um, I just have, I have so much stuff right now that... I need to get rid of some things. Uh, I have, if you guys can see, I told you I buy sleeves every time I go to the stores. Two, four, six, eight, nine packs of sleeves. Plus, I have top loaders. I have these Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves that I'm about to sell on eBay. Some, I have two people. I have these blue ones that I kept just in case. I have this Inteleon deck up here that I never opened. I have an extra cube to sell. Um, three dollars for that little clear cube yeah, Joe's I got a bunch of stuff guys this stuff is all for sale on eBay right now you can buy um, these packs of Lucario and stuff like that Dollar Tree packs I have for sale there's just a ton of stuff I have listed on eBay right now so I've been just going through some things I'm trying to turn the TV on out here for Jesse um, this is the desk that I'm putting in my room if I haven't showed anybody um, this basically allows you to have two people sit at it I thought it would be cool to do like a, a talk show on this desk and leave it out here. What? Jessie's princesses and her potty that she never uses for FYI. Teaching a kid to potty train is impossible as a single father. What are you looking at? What am I looking at? The sunglasses? The guitar? Oh. Anyway. I bought these, um, actually did not buy these. I found these two guitars 
this lady on my road was giving them away for free. If, um, this one actually has a foot pedal and an adapter for PlayStation 2. And then this one um, is for Xbox. Now, I've seen numerous people say they pick these up at yard sales. Why are you picking them up at yard sales? Because I've had these things on eBay for like five bucks and nobody's buying them. If somebody could give me a pointer on how to sell these guitars, please leave a comment down below because I would greatly appreciate it. I'm being pushed out of the way. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Back at the desk. We did not go to the yard sales today. Me and Jesse have been really just playing around the house all day. Um, it's been fun playing with her. We uh, we gotta go. We didn't go to the post office today either because I have to go to the bank and the post office, and the bank closed at one. And unfortunately, we didn't make it to the post office or the bank. Um, there's another post office. I believe they closed at like two or three, but. We're not going to rush orders out today. Um, Monday is another day, and I'm still waiting on a response from the person with the Rillaboom card. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but um, I was checking my orders on eBay. I wasn't going to open this because I was waiting for the FedEx guy to come, but I think we'll do a special delivery on that next uh, Pokemon box that comes in because it's going to be Chilling Rain Apology sets, basically. Um... I am doing a garbage run very shortly, and I wanted to get any garbage I had out of the way. So I said, why not open up this Battle Styles red, uh, blue Elite Trainer box and get the garbage out of the way. So we have here eight packs. Let's mix them up a little. That's good to me. Um, eight packs of Battle Styles. We're going to pop a couple of these open. We'll start from the bottom, and then we'll go to the top. How is your Saturday going? Hopefully it's going as good as mine. Me and my daughter playing. It's fun. Starting it off with this card card. Um, you know what? I've been packaging up orders to go out. I sold one of the $3 pop figures on eBay for actually $3. I thought it would sell more, but you know what? I don't even care as long as I get my money back. That's all I care about. Those were basically something I should not have bought. The Ultraman, I have two Ultraman left, and I have three. Um, I'll show you, they're right here. Three of these guys, Grishna. They are a limited edition 2019 spring convention. I might keep one for myself. Um, and I have two of these Ultraman. I don't necessarily keep pop figures, so. Jessica just walked into the room. I was trying to do this while she was out playing so that we weren't interrupted. So last night I go on eBay and I'm checking my orders and I see that somebody didn't... It said the card should have been here on Wednesday. What do you got? Um, it said the Rainbow Rare Urshifu from Battlestyle should have been here on Wednesday. I don't know why I bought it. I was just browsing. I saw it for a good price. Um, it wasn't actual. Ooh, Steelix. Nice. Um, wow, somebody is mowing their lawn. Oh, wow. I thought that was a lawnmower. I was like, damn, that sounds like it's right outside my window. So I was checking on eBay last night and I seen that my order is saying that it should have been here on Wednesday and then another one should have been here Thursday. Well, double check the one order. It was in Albany, which is one of our sorting facilities. So that actually should be here today, which I'm not too worried about. But I have eight orders that I was waiting on and I noticed that three of them were just looking kind of funny. Like it looked like the person never even shipped it. So I messaged, um, I opened a request on eBay asking them to check it out for me. And the person sent me an instant refund. So that means that the person never... Cedra with Conclador. Um, the person never even sent the card. So I don't mind getting a refund. I left them a, a neutral feedback. I don't like leaving negative feedback. I only left negative feedback for one person. And that was the person that just refunded me and didn't even tell me about refunding me. I don't like to be refunded. I don't mind being refunded, I should say. It's just let me know that 
you didn't mail or ship the card or whatever I ordered before just refunding me. Like, just give me the common courtesy of telling me that you messed up. Um, you sold the card for 99 cents. Ooh, Embor with a mean shoe. I looked in his feedback and it actually, two people had left negative feedback for the same person saying the same thing. Person refunded them, canceled the order without even telling them, no communication. Just not a good seller. Don't do that stuff. Especially when you have zero feedback and you're trying to build feedback. You don't want your first five orders to be 50%. Uh, probably sold two things to somebody he knew. Got two feedback. And then it just went from there. Onyx, Reverse Hollow, Colossal. Getting some uh, hollow hits. No ultra rares, secret rares. I started off my eBay with zero feedback. Yes, zero feedback. And I've built that to over 200 items. I'm currently at 223 feedback. I'm waiting to get 225. I just bought two more things, so. Lickitung, Zubat, Remoraid, Xpshare, Perugly, Escape Rope, and a Victory Bell. Jesse is too cute. She's telling me Lisa's not answering her. I'm like, who the hell is Lisa? I thought she maybe she grabbed a phone or something and was calling somebody. She was out in the kitchen trying to talk to Alexa. <laughs> That's funny. Shinx. Oh, so yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, if you see that trio pack that I grabbed from Target the other day, make sure you grab one of those because all three of those cards do not come in hollow form. So the three set, Sword and Shield, um, the promo card I believe does, obviously. But the other two from Rebel Clash and Sword and Shield Base, those don't come in a hollow form. So those are extra cards. So if you're trying to complete a master set of Rebel Clash or Sword and Shield Base, you need those for your master set. Last pack magic. Can we get something? Can we get a hit? Corefish, Cacnea, Mawile, Spoink, Galeri, Mr. Mime, Energy, Hunkro, Seedra, Weeping Bell, Sheruby, and Jellicent. And as always, a little quick montage. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I actually was just thinking, I think I need this reverse hollow. I was actually just looking through my uh, Battle Styles binder yesterday. So I've got a bunch of cool cards. You know, I'm almost done with this set. We'll put this one up there too because I know I don't need Phalanx or Weeping Bell. So we'll leave those back there. Or Victory Bell. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Click another video floating around somewhere up here. And as always, peace out. We'll see you on the next one.